Hey guys, welcome to some 2 v 2 and this, this time is gonna be Red Rest to Shaman instead of Warrior because um, Warrior was not available so we're gonna have some fun with this comp and guess what, we even faced so many mirrors one of the mirrors was these two guys which we won almost every time I think we, uh, yeah we lost once uh, and we won like four times or so uh, even when we lost it was really close both of us died and uh, the other red was playing with uh, Crusader and Hammer which means he has another Crusader kinda so they both proc each, each other bubbled and then the other party had Crusader with the Hammer so uh, he had more damage and he won the arena uh, yeah it was really tricky but now I have adjusted my talents accordingly and we just have the better CC let's say so moving on in this game like the damage goes ham uh, both of the paladins are going bam 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 on the, each other's healers uh, this uh, my paladin is playing normal wings and the other paladin is playing crusader it does do a lot more damage but he did also DR his hodges like countless times so I think he actually did a really bad bad job with his hodges maybe if he was like waiting a tiny bit he could have probably you know get a win I get a hex there he's probably gonna drink it he did drink it I interpreted that instantly there goes the bubble uh, I was lucky enough or maybe he I don't know what he thought but he used grounding after the interrupt I don't know why he didn't start with the grounding and then start casting but yeah I guess he mistaked it's okay now going on we do have a lot of stuff we have bubble we have link I have trinket so basically I cannot die at this point they don't have trinket that's a full stun I think he's gonna die right now he got bobbed I instantly purge it we still have a lot of pressure dispelling that hodge instantly and now we, we he's gonna go back on paladin which has nothing and I can have a full hex which I'm gonna go, go for it right now okay he did grounding I'm gonna kill the grounding gonna try to stun again I did not manage to get a stun but I will get the hex right now because there's, he had interrupt I don't know why he didn't do it but yeah and now I get a win super easy super fun and super fast games this was the first or the second game of the of the day because we I started during the day I, like I said I could not play at, at night um, so yeah this is the second game which basically starts at 50% dampening uh, just because of how it works we cannot kill anyone because the monk runs away dampening isn't high so he can top himself all the time um, and the red doesn't really have uptime but now I actually did not manage to fake the warrior there I thought he fell down after me but apparently not anyway we do have bubble uh, we have a lot of cooldowns I'm starting to use incendies now just to keep the pressure up he did peel the monk but he also used portal so I guess that fear wasn't really that impactful but we do get a lot of pressure on the warriors I'm probably gonna start purging soon enough like usually at 40% I start purging but now seeing that these guys were kiting pretty well it wasn't really a, I, it was a kind of a waste of a mana you know so yeah the monk did go for a drink during this game I think he drank twice maybe but yeah he, it won't be enough because he has no output at this point like at 60% dampening his heals are all useless and he will just fall off quite rapidly now we do get a lot of pressure on the warrior there is no dabaida so no cocoon pretty much no cooldowns left i do get the hex of over there and i do have damage and the warrior just dies okay now moving into the next one should be the same guys and they played a bit better this time or at least it felt like it um, they did get bubble but they didn't get link so we still they did have some bit of pressure when they did get that bubble not nothing too scary though since I am playing relentless so the stuns you know don't last that much like a storm bolt into a monk stun could actually kill me if I'm not orc relentless 
but uh, yeah he wasn't playing uh, crane either I don't know why I think crane would be the best choice in this like stun into stun and while I am unable to do anything he they should just go for me and uh, you know try to kill me with, with full damage but he didn't do that so eventually like the previous game wait for dampening kill the monk in a full hodge because he cannot recover he will just heal but he cannot recover now this game was completely fucking clown fiesta uh, actually wasn't that clown fiesta it was pretty coordinated uh, they've got bubble pretty recently um, and then uh, we cannot actually kill them first of all and with no bubble one talc would actually destroy the red and uh, mortal strike from the pet it would be very hard to heal so therefore we just decided to wait for bubble until uh, you know comes back up and then we go ham on the warlock again even though you know we may not kill them because they can kite a lot we're gonna try so we did wait for the bubble bubble is back up now I'm gonna use cooldowns to not let the bubble proc I really want to ha to have the bubble already because I can loss and uh, the red can still be offensive I don't know how he got his sex it was kind of bad for me I should have moved my mouse way earlier than I left that bar over there anyway there's no important cooldowns down here I'm gonna go for the link here because it's way better than actually get the bubble because he can stay offensive without the worrying of dying you know Link is like situational and now I thought hmm, I'm not getting CC now I, I have an opportunity to to Link before the bubble it was kinda risky I waited a bit but it worked out in the end and now we're just gonna kill the shaman he almost survived but I will secure that kill with a lava burst and I shield in the reflect but doesn't matter we already won. Now th the funny part is that um, the warlock could actually solo kill us both. I am like full mana, it's like 80% dampening, I haven't drank once and I'm full mana just because of how we played. Uh, and this is the bop that could possibly lose us the game. Uh, <laughs> Like why would he bob when he can just bubble and he cannot get any damage through him? But yeah, either way, we uh, managed to survive and it was super okay, you know. Okay, and I think I think both of the other team was streaming. I'm not entirely sure. I think I saw the warlock in trade chat spamming his Twitch uh, link. Anyway, if you know them, hello guys. Anyway another uh, the same actually red shaman again a fast game this is like from the start almost the gates open I walk there this guy walked on me my game plan here on this map is to kite the red as far of as far as possible from the shaman uh, he did get a lot of pressure with this crusade but now the shaman is over there I'm gonna jump on the other side and I'm pretty sure the red will follow me just because I'm low and he does but I was knowing for a fact I will survive because he didn't have kick and the shaman was really far so he cannot kick and uh, being so far away we got a bubble now we have the pressure on our side just because of that bubble we can still train the red and actually be super successful I'm gonna get the hex there he's gonna drink it instantly but they don't have really anything left like they think I think they have one more bob and that's it they had to link there the, sh the red would have died if he didn't re link there I should have refreshed my earth shield here but I was just spamming globals to do something else like I was trying to do damage I was trying to purge I was trying to do like anything else like cast hills so I didn't really er re shield that guy although we sh I should have I should have re shield him but it didn't matter we got the kill we had so much pressure it was like completely one-sided that game just because of position just because of position so I just wanna yeah you know I should go back now I think you guys got it like if you have a good position you're gonna be able to uh, to outplay even though they do have more damage here is like another guy who, who does a lot of damage like a frost frost death knight and it's really annoying uh, with the root some death knights don't play like this but this guy was playing 
kind of nice. He was using the root like instantly when I tried to jump away. You're gonna see it here. I'm trying to jump away. He instantly rooted me. Like mo I don't see most of the Death Knights doing this, but these guys did it, and he did it like consistently. I couldn't like leap without getting a root once, and they got bubble just because of that. And he didn't even kick, and they got bubble because of that. I was like kind of scared here. I think I'm gonna get bobbed. Yep, I will get bobbed, and I also would have wanted to link. I would. I was actually waiting if I'm gonna get bopped or not. Uh, I probably wouldn't died, wouldn't have died even with the, even without the bop, but overall it worked fine. Now it's a pretty dire condition, like the Paladin is super low, they did just waste kick, but he could clone me, he could just, you know, man up and try to clone me. What, what can I have? I can have one shear and one kick from the party. He could probably fake us both, probably. But him not doing anything and just surviving, I was able to heal the paladin, maybe, but still in this position we should die. Like I do have Link, but if he would try to clone he would force my Link. He would force a kick, he would force something, but he did just did not choose to do anything. So moving on I, I am able to cast, he did go for a clone, he did try to go for a clone, I'm gonna sit offensive on the druid just to have a bit of pressure and the death knight was following me, I don't know why, he could have just trained a paladin over there. I know actually why, because death knights can actually get trucked by the reds. The problem with it, uh, if he wastes AMZ, uh, he, com he gets completely destroyed. And in which point I was thinking, hmm, I could actually try to hex and bait the MS, but apparently I didn't have to do it anymore. That was my plan, that was my thinking process. That I should go for a hex and force the MZ so the Death Knight could actually die if the Red decides to hard swap on him. Now he's gonna chase the Druid. The, ta the tactic with chasing the Druid is actually pretty good because he stops clones, like. If I'm on him, if the red is on him, we purge, we do a lot of damage like that, he cannot go for clones, and we basically win like that. For example, if he, he's scared, if he wouldn't be scared, he would just try to clone, like now he should try to clone. If he gets a clone, we're gonna win. He get the he got the Hosh there, unfortunately he's in bear form, I do have like, we have a lot of pressure on the death knight. And I do manage to get that uh, hex in between their casts uh, right after he got out of uh, right after he got off the bear form. So let's replay that real quick. He's super low. He has one opportunity. He could use Icebound and heal himself. I'm not sure why he didn't use it. I guess the druid would told him he would be fine. Well, he wasn't fine. Because in that slight global, when he tried to get a heal, he got text. And it was done. Even though if I wouldn't get that hex, I would just spam purge. And he would have died anyway. So, it was a pretty good game for us. But for them, I think they could have won if they tried to clone a tiny bit more. Now moving on is gonna be another game that starts at 60% dampening. Woohoo, Do's Legion by the way, haha. So uh, Demon Warlock, you know, has to kite. If not kiting, just, you know, do damage, do burst. But this guy just... He actually could've kited way more. He tanked a lot of damage, therefore they lost, basically. Uh, the Paladin went out of mana, spam healing, the red was swapping back and forth each time the holy paladin had like three stacks of holy light damage reduction thing that's 15 percent reduction that you don't really want to hit in anyway this warlock had a different playstyle than the other that we met which means he had the pet on me the entire time so less single target damage more aoe pressure but i was never well i was a few times in the open but mostly I was behind the pillar which means no damage from him so the paladin would always be no mortal strike effect easy to heal therefore my mana is almost half 
and we're gonna win this game by default I'm just gonna use a few cooldowns over here just to stay offensive uh, gonna purge that Bob the Paladin has absolutely nothing right now I think he only has a trinket coming up and that's about it he does kite away he's really low and I don't have any finishing I would jump for him but he would just LOS but me jumping would also force bubble so I kinda needed to do what I should have done is just stay on the warlock follow the red keep healing up because he got pressure just by just by switching the pet on the paladin like the mortal strike effect was is so powerful uh, even so he couldn't kill the paladin in time he couldn't proc the bubble in time he proc it at the very end but it was over by then anyway thanks a lot for watching guys and I hope you enjoyed this video and give a like subscribe if you haven't already anyway bye